I'm Hugh and Hook, and this is The Real Review. The wine we're tasting now is Gilbert and Gilbert 2015 Riesling from the Eden Valley. So the backstory to Gilbert and Gilbert. Um, let's talk about the Gilbert family generally. Um, the original Gilbert uh, in the wine industry was a fellow called Joseph Gilbert and he planted vines in the Eden Valley in 1847. So he was the first person in the Eden Valley to plant. Um, it was the same year that uh, Johann Gramp planted vines at Jacobs Creek in the Barossa Valley proper and originally you know, that was the original um, vineyard that uh, led to the, uh, to the creation of the Orlando Wine Company, which was the Gramp family's company. So the same year, incidentally. Um, the, the Gilbert family also claimed that that was the first planting of Riesling vines in Australia. Um, and I'm not sure that it's terribly clear whether that's correct or not, but I'm not going to argue with it. Uh, it's a great history, whichever way you look at it. Now that vineyard of Joseph Gilbert's went out of production for a while and it wasn't until I think the, uh, the late 60s when the Alumba uh, company, which is very close by at Anguston, decided to replant uh, Pusey Vale and of course the rest is history. Pusey Vale Riesling is now something that everybody knows about. It's owned by the Alumba Wine Company, nothing to do with the Gilberts anymore. But members of the Gilbert family still own vineyard in the Eden Valley. So, um, and skip a couple of generations and along comes a fellow called Simon Gilbert, who is a, a very well-known winemaker in Mudgee in New South Wales. He's been making his own wines and other people's wines for many, many years indeed, probably 30 or 40 years, I've lost count. Uh, and he's still based in Mudgee, even though he buys, buys a lot of grapes from Orange now and makes a lot of wine from Orange grapes. Uh, which is, sounds terrible, doesn't orange grapes, but the, you know what I mean. It's from the town of Orange, the region of Orange. So Mudgy and Orange. And his son, Will, is now involved, and Will is now the winemaker. So another generation of Gilberts making wine. So that's the background of South Australia and New South Wales. And then, then they get together and they produce this Riesling, which is grown by, which is made by Simon and Will Gilbert, uh, but grown by their relatives in the Eden Valley. So a nice little circle there, I think. So how does this wine taste, this Gilbert and Gilbert Riesling from the Eden Valley from the great 2015 vintage? Well, they've released it at five, five to six years of age, which means that they were expecting this wine to age well. And wow, it has aged beautifully. The color is still light yellow. So that's quite a light colour for a wine of its age. It's an indication that it's ageing slowly and will, will be long lived. When you smell it, it's got just a magical nose. It's, a, it's got a combination of the fresh fruit flavours, which are floral, which are potpourri, which are dried flowers and fresh flowers, citrus blossoms. But it's also got the beginnings of the toastiness that comes with bottle age on Riesling. And it's a very complex bouquet. Absolutely beautiful. Really not easy to describe. There's a bit of beeswax coming in there now. Beeswax implies not just the honey that you get in the beeswax, but the wax itself. Those two aromas contribute to this extra layer of complexity that this wine has. That is a truly lovely nose. Let's have a taste. And that is just what you'd, you'd, you would expect from the nose. It's still fresh and youthful. It's still delicate. It's very intense, um, but it has the precision, the line, the compactness, the finesse, length of palate. Uh, very, very seamless wine. It's dry. There's no perceptible sweetness there. And it's just, to my, to my mind, that is what Eden Valley Riesling is all about. They also, at Gilbert & Gilbert, release a wine called the Museum Release, which is, I think, right now it's the 2010 vintage. So they do, these wines do age very well, especially in the top vintages, and both those years, 10 and 15, are, are very, very good years for Riesling in the Eden Valley. So 
this is a wine which um, which is going to go on. It's going to go on and be and give great pleasure well into the future. How did we rate this wine as Gilbert and Gilbert Riesling? We scored it 95 out of 100 and I think that's a conservative score. I think that uh, certainly in the next couple of years it's going to get even better and it will be worth, I suspect, a higher score. We, uh, we suggested, well actually it was ranked number three out of 42 2015 Rieslings from the Eden Valley. So uh, out of 42 Rieslings from that year, only two uh, ranked higher. This is quite extraordinary. So it's a top, top rank rating. Uh, we've said drink it now until 2025. Well, it's only four years hence. I would say that's a very conservative drinking window. Uh, might have no trouble recommending another 10 years for this wine. So 15 plus years wouldn't be a problem. Um, I think that's a really quite outstanding wine. So what sort of food would we serve with a wine like this? And we asked Simon and Will Gilbert to recommend their choice of food. And they've said Vietnamese char grilled pork with rice noodles. Um, and that's an indication of how a Riesling fills out and changes as it ages. That's, that's, a, that's the sort of dish that you would serve with not necessarily young Riesling, but a Riesling with a bit of age, which has filled out and become a bit more rich and a bit more powerful and a bit more mouth-filling in its properties. I think that's a good, good combination. The acidity of the wine will help it cut through the fattiness of the pork. I think that's a very good idea indeed. I wouldn't mind trying it myself. Good health. Mm -hmm.